What is up guys, it's Chuckle here and today we are playing a fan-made RPG by CU called Carry It With You Which is pretty much a fan-made verse 1999 Kakanya e-sold game that continues after what happened in 1.7 So honestly, I'm really excited to see what happens. I'm lying. I already played it This is me afterwards doing an intro, but it's really good and I hope you guys enjoy it So let's get into it. Shall we? There's a little horror. There's a little romance there's a little there's a little everything okay so this is carry it with you so far it looks really interesting the music the music's really good so I'm excited let us play uh, let us fall warning this game contains horror elements I mean if you play reverse 1999 you're already you're already equipped for all this so well, if you're sensitive to flashing lights, please watch in caution or don't watch at all. It's up to your discretion. Be your discretion advised. Headphones recommended for a better experience. Full screen mode may cause low image quality. Default window size is recommended. Any square symbols in the text are not display errors. Poor translation and errors will appear. I'm not a native speaker of this language. Forgive me. It's okay. Thank you for the English version. Read, read me for more information. This game has three endings. CG's in, oh, save frequently. Okay. This is a follow-up story to the main story with a lot of personal headcanons and OOCs. It's all fictional, entirely made up by me, and nothing has to do with the real characters. They are not like this. <laughs> Feel free to enjoy as you like. Thank you. Movement. Oh, snap. Uh, frick. Uh, oh, movement. I can left click. Okay, cool. Actually. Uh, run. I can do shift plus left click. Okay, shift to run. Welcome to the artificial speaker multiplayer mode beta. This is disclaimer agreement. Privacy policy. User agreement. Whoa, well, should. Oh, it's not an error, guys. It's not an error. Just like they said. Oh. Have fun. Make sure my eyes aren't, ugh, my glasses aren't blurry. Okay, I can see clearly. I have read and agreed. Please sign the space below. I'm playing as Kakanya. Yes. Instrument parameters, normal. Body indicators, normal. Data transmission in progress. Data transmission, successful. Identity verification, I. Identity verification, I, one. Identity verification, one, scanning visitor space. Match successful, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Identity verification, two. Please enter your employee ID. Ooh, and this Kakanya. Okay, nice. Ugh. Oh. Uh, zero, what, uh, oh, can I? Oh, I can't actually change it, can I? Oh, I can, with the arrows. Uh, what? Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Input error, entering backup identity verification process. Uh, security question one, what color is the C? Blue. Please retry. What color is sea water? Colorless. Is the sun square or round? Round. Where are you from? Vienna, Austria. Oh, guys, don't don't remember that first question. Didn't I just sign in ten seconds ago? Authentication successful. Entering artificial sleep walking. Oh, doctor. Doctor, is this Isold? I'm assuming this is Isold. Doctor Kakanya. Oh, sorry. I can't believe I spaced out. Please forgive my rudeness. I probably didn't sleep well last night. Ooh, let me turn the volume down. I honestly could have done that in the settings. I'm just irresponsible like that. Just so you guys can hear me. Uh, what did you say? Could I? Could you repeat that, please? Oh, of course. Oh, this is not Kakanya. 
Of course, where was I? Ah, right, about that poor girl my husband has been secretly meeting. At first, I was furious, although I didn't allow it, although I didn't show it. I was filled with thoughts of how to get back at him. However, things changed later. She's truly beautiful, with sad blue violet eyes. Even her tattered clothes only, oh, even her tattered clothes only make her look more enduring, unforgettable after just one glance. Hmm, your husband's lover. She ponders as she began writing in her book, notebook. That night, I dreamed of kissing her. <laughs> pretended to know nothing, made up an excuse to hire, oh, I pretended to know nothing, made up an excuse to hire her for some work, and, is, and secretly met with her after, met with her. After that, her face became clear in my dreams each night. Doctor, please tell me, have I fallen in love with her, or am I sick, unable to see my own will clearly? I understand your confusion. I will help you analyze your feelings, step by step. First, I want to start with your subconscious, as it is always the most honest. Would you tell me more about your dreams? The one about her, the one the ones about her which you just mentioned. Are there any other details in your dreams, even illogical or seemingly unimportant details, anything at all? Can you recall anything? The room fell silent with her breath, only curtains swayed, letting the sunlight in. Under the her under the patient gaze, the noble lady looked a took a difficult deep breath. I my dear daughter, are you in there? Hurry and change. The carriage has arrived. We should keep the we shouldn't keep the driver waiting. Oh who are you? Darling. Oh dang it. It's you again. Oh the music is fire. I will give it that. I mean <laughs> the music is fire, so I will give it that, but it is good. How many times have I told you to stay away from my daughter? Are you casting spells on her? Oh, my poor girl. Have you eaten something strange? Are you feeling dizzy? Just look at you. Your face is so pale. You wretched witch. You won't leave here today. Oh, dear. This is not good. My apologies, Miss Hanberg. I'll see you next time, and then you'll give me your answer. There won't be a next time, I swear on Hornburg family name! There will never be a next time! Oh! Oh, cutscene! Ooh! Ooh, we got a whole cutscene. Oh, is this when she jumped out the window, Kakanya? The advantage of Ponytails itself it shows itself fully in this moment. Light. The advantage of Ponytails shows itself fully in this moment. Light secure. Light secure? Perfect for escaping any predicament a psychiatrist may encounter. The scent of freesia is overpowered by a mix of dirt and horse manure stirred up along the street, while the noble woman screams chase from behind. Don't you dare lay a finger on my daughter again, or you'll face the consequences, I assure you! Hmm. This house does not accommodate any lunatics! No. The green figure skillfully rounds the corner, disappearing from the street in an instant. Back near the clinic, she passes by the cafe where the postman greets her, asking if she would like to join him for a cup of coffee. Kakanya replies that she, he had an appointment soon and couldn't stay long. In fact, due to the unexpected event at the Hornberg house, Hon, Hon, Hornberg house, she returned earlier than usual today. Kakanya brushes the dust off of the dust from her somewhat disheveled attire, and her green suit looks as good as new again. She flicks open her pocket watch and took and took a look. There's still some time. I hope Miss Holmberg won't face too much scolding this time. Hmm. Has the patient arrived early? There's no one outside. Strange. Oh. Easel? Hey, girly. Oh. Oh, baby Easel. A lost child? 
Far beyond what the term illusion can explain, the room seems much darker than before. The weak, night the weak light coming through the skylight resembles moonlight, accompanied by a girl from another dimension. The girl appears out of nowhere, wears a white dress that reaches the floor, her skin seemingly paler than the moonlight. Um, miss, uh, little miss, I think you might have the wrong address. This is Dr. Kakanya's clinic. Then you must be Dr. Kakanya, correct? Hmm? That, that's correct. Doctor, I need your help. Please, take me home. I'd be happy to help you, but I can't break my appointments. I know some reliable people nearby. Let's go together, and they will take you. They will safely take you home. All right? No, doctor. There's no need to attend those appointments. Not anymore. Please take a look at the patient's letter. Oh. Starlight sparkles on the coffee table. An unassigned letter. Collect. Kakanya opens the letter on the table. Oh. Before she can read a single word, the letter bursts into flames, burning clear, clearly in her, cleanly in her hands, leaving not even ash behind, yet not harming her fingers at all. Is this some arcane skill? No, something feels off. The patient who was supposed to come today. Who was it again? Ooh, is this some arcane skill? Okay, little girl. Doctor, please come with me. Kakanya feels lost in a haze, while the white-clad girl cheerfully takes light, light steps forward. Ooh. Okay, and get comfortable. It's gonna be... Wait, where'd she go? Wait, where actually, where'd she go? I was... <laughs> Wait, I wasn't watching! Wait. Uh... Little girl? Oh gosh, oh gosh, I don't know where she went. Did she go into the mirror? Little girl! Oh, do I have to, you think maybe like a menu or something? Oh, items! Oh snap, this is like a full-fledged RPG. Settings, save, I'm gonna save, oh, should I? Yeah, I'm gonna save. Follow Ooh, this is so. Look at this drawing, guys. This is not cute. Okay. Uh, crap. I did not see where that little girl went. Oh, oh, okay. That's how you. Okay, okay. Dang it. I was not paying attention. Was, oh my gosh. I was sitting back. Little girl. Oh, the door. <laughs> Open. Should I really follow her? Strangely enough, she can't find her home, yet she's leaving me. The door. Open. Ooh, it's the door! Ooh, and it's animated! They, ooh, this is really good. It's the door from um, Isolde's character story. Where is this? This is my room. Then aren't you already home? No, this isn't it. We need to go a bit further. I guess it must either be... I guess I must either be overworked or experiencing some sort of deep hallucination. Or overworked and unknowingly falling asleep, in, falling into a deep sleep. Ow! Doctor, please stop pinching your face. Exhaustion isn't good for your body, but the destination is still ahead. Let's take a look around first. Alright. Before we do, can you tell me your name? Please call me Isolde. You're pinching your face again. So does Kakanya know Isolde here? The door won't open. We'll have to look for clues around here. Oh, look here for, yeah. I knew you'd help me, kind doctor. As we explore, we have different perspectives and abilities. Whenever there's something you want me to take a look at, I'll be right here. Oh, okay. Under the bed, there's a jewelry box. One of the three plants, pathos, fresh flowers, and and flower in the painting tells the truth. Last night, halfway through the banquet, a gunshot was heard from upstairs. Who fired the gun? Oh, definitely need more time. Duh! Wait, 
do I, is this like stuff I would need to like have it seen the story for? Cause isn't it obviously Isolde who fired the gun? So wouldn't it be the younger sister? <laughs> many books. The Kanye has read many books, but most of the titles on this shelf are ones she has never heard of. Hmm. One, oh, unnamed fairy tale book. Let's listen to that one. Hmm. Many pages have been torn out. Hmm. Seen something is stuck between the pages. A piece of a photograph. Oh. Collection in progress. One of four. Oh, is that a collectible? Piano. No brand name is visible. Likely a custom piece. Books piled on the piano bench, looking far from comfortable uh, for sitting. As something stuck between the keys. Check. Piece of a photograph. Ah, so is this what I'm collecting right now? Can I see this plant? The painting. Oh, the pa the painting, obviously. The paint. That painting is telling the truth. Oh. Where would I get others? Oh wait, maybe the vanity? Mirror. A mirror. Reflecting the gazer honestly. Seeing familiar objects comforts Kakanya a bit. It's a very fine mirror. The frame is intricate intricate and elegant without being overly overzealous, overstatious. Even her even her picky father would praise it. The green feather quivers as the doctor leans closer in the mirror, adjusting her collar. There is no inconspicuous puncture in the collar. Oh, <laughs> she thinks she got shot with a needle? Kakanya. Silly Kakanya. Uh, did it get snagged while escaping from somewhere? Kakanya tries to recall, but had no memory of it. Oh, there is an inconspicuous puncture in the collar. Oh, so there is one. Uh-oh. She notices a little girl in the white calmly watching from a sort short distance behind her. It seems like there's something on the dressing table. Check. A piece of a photograph. Okay, maybe I should talk to, no. Well, maybe I should. Do you need help? Oh, you know what, let me, wait, actually? No, 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 I will switch to Isolde. I will switch to Isolde. Because maybe I can find other things. Talbo case is a shadow. Maybe she knows what this is. Oh, she doesn't want to talk about it. Isol shakes her head. Okay, you want to talk about this? Okay, so I assume she doesn't want to talk about anything. Well, let's do the last one just for... Okay. Get over here. Okay. Mirror reflecting, the gazer. Honestly, the little girl in the white dress occupies half of the mirror's surface. No cracks, no dust, or fingerprints on the mirror. Her color, hair, and headband, and bow tie are all still pristine. That's good. Behind her, the doctor in green smiles at her through, through the mirror's reflection. Okay, maybe she knows something about the painting? The plant is telling the truth. The painting! Crap. The older sister wasn't at the scene, so the shooter must be either the younger sister or their older brother. Oh, brother, we know who it is. I switched to Kakani. I already know who it is. It's the younger sister. Are you sure you... Do you want to think it over again? The jewelry box opens and inside lies a piece of something. Check. It's a piece of a photograph. I got all of them. All pieces collected. Do you want to start the puzzle? Ooh, yes. Oh. Oh, I can re okay. It's obviously that end. Okay. Oh, is this Isold? Oh, this is Isold with a uh, even dream Evan Evangeline Evangeline and Mr. Dordishstoff. A nearly complete family photo appeared before her. I like how you know a certain someone isn't in this photo. Who was also alive at the time of this photo. <laughs> Wait, actually? Wait, so that's not Isolde. That's probably Isolde channeling her younger sister. Uh, Trissa? So this is Teresa. This isn't Isolde. The Kanye recognizes the woman in on the right side of the photo as Evangeline. And the man on the left as her husband. In the middle... The black-haired girl beams with a bright smile, standing confidently with her back straight, looking directly at the camera lens. 
Though she resembles the girl beside her, anyone who has seen them would easily distinguish between them. Yeah, this is, uh, this is Teresa. Teresa. I'm sorry. The photo can't be restored. No. No, why are you apologizing? You did very well. I wasn't expecting a better photo than this. Thank you. Okay. Ah, there seems to be some noise at the door, by the door. Also, the fact that I can run is very suspicious. The door has opened. Ooh, leave. Let's leave. I didn't save. I should have saved before I did that. Oh. And we ended up coming out of a dog hole. Uh-oh. The small room. Reference. References. References. Is this the stage of the Vienna Theater? That's right. Doctor, this is your first time on the stage, isn't it? Yes. This feels weird. Oh. It seems we're not the only ones on this stage. These two spirits don't seem to have any intention of attacking us. I guess it- Oh, attack. Oh, gosh. I don't like that word, Kakanya. That word triggers me. Pineapple. Pineapple therapist. Pineapple. Uh, I guess it's just like the previous room. We need to meet certain conditions to leave. Let's take a look around first. Okay, let me save. And I'll actually save over that. Okay. Now let's see here. Uh... Uh, let's see this. A small, wet, soft piece of dead fish. That's dead fish. Flesh! Oh, flesh. That looks like a person. Nani feels chills. Uh, hi! The dead flesh didn't respond. Of course it wouldn't, because it's dead. Why are you talking to something dead? You're right. That was dumb of me. I shouldn't have done that. A uh, little girl. Hi. Who are you? Um, maybe the clock. A clock with no pendulum in motion. The hour hand points towards one, and the minute hand points towards five. Five is in cap, so five... Wasn't this kid... Say that again? Two, two, two... Okay, right now, the numbers I have in my head are five and two. A glass vessel containing an unknown red, uh, blood red liquid. Is this a prop? Can I still switch to Isold here? Switch to Isold. Let's see what I can find as Isold. Two. Small wet piece of flesh. This is sister's dead flesh. Okay, so this is, um... This is... Wait, this actually it could be Isold. So this is Isold. And then the one in the picture was true. No, because it said the Isold, this girl didn't know what happened. So this is Isold channeling Trissa. And so, hmm, I'm gonna say sister. I'm here, my dear little sister, behind you. You're looking in the wrong direction. This is, ah, this is my body. Do you like my outfit, little sister? Isla feels warm, soft object, object pressing against the side of her neck. Do you want to see more closely or do you want to run away from me? Crying to see mommy? If you do that, I'll let you go. Do you want to see more? Do you want to try it on? Like mommy did whenever she dressed you in new clothes. It's okay. You'll soon be wearing the same clothes. Playing with me in the same outfit. <laughs> Are you no longer afraid, little Isol? How boring. Isol feels the warm, soft object leave her neck. Wait, is this Teresa? Teresa? She said that's me. Ah, I recognize you. The youngest daughter of the Didishtoff family, right? Everyone here knows your name. Just like you. I'm the third child in the family. I still haven't forgotten that day when my older brother pushed me into a well. I said, what? On the calendar. It said, one on the calendar. Okay, okay, all right. So we got five, 
Two question mark? Three and one. So I'm saying two question mark because two wasn't in capitalized, but the kid, the kid said two. So I'm gonna put three. Three? No, 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 no. Five, uh, two question mark, three, and then one. Okay. I grabbed the edge by my, I grabbed the edge, but my sister crying, pried my fingers off. Her lips were pale, but her hands were strong. Mama, I feel, I felt painfully. Oh, mama, mama, I felt painfully, but I still scream with all my might. Mother, save me! Mother arrived only after I was too exhausted to cry anymore. But it was too late. Mama, I couldn't leave with you. Understanding my wish, Mother ended my suffering with a fallen stone, just like she used to sing lullabies to the... to the heart... her... long ago. Are you the same, Didishtof? Does your mother sing lullabies to you? Unilegible sounds. Okay, so we got two more numbers. Mm, mm, mm. Hey, this song's fire. A realistic skull model. A glass ve a vessel containing an unknown red blood liquid. Easel does not give a crap. Clock with no pendulum. Uh, one and five. I never even checked the chair. Starlight shines under the spotlight. Collect. Starlight. Okay, nice. What's the code? You don't want to talk more with your sister. Oh, uh, you don't want to talk more with your sister, my dear. You don't want to talk more with your sister, my dear little sister? Well, the fourth digit of the code is nine. Go ahead. Fourth? Oh, the fourth? Okay, was that the last thing? Maybe it wasn't two, it was nine. I thought that kid was onto something. This one right here? Guess not. A few minutes later. Okay, guys, after so many times playing this, my dumb butt saw the little code thing on there. See that? See that right there? Right here? Yeah. So let's enter the code, finally. <laughs> Get me out of here. So, um... Order wise, I don't freaking know what the order is. So we got the numbers one, three, nine, five. So I'm gonna put, well, I know the last number is definitely nine. Cause isn't that, didn't they say that's the fourth one? Wouldn't the first number be, no, I'll put this number five. And this will be one, eight, three. What? Okay, um, okay, never mind. Maybe this, <laughs> maybe, uh, this is five. What the frick, Isold? And this one's one? Uh, okay. What if, right, two is the second number? because that kid says two, 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 two. So what if he's saying two, two? And then, and then, right, right, right. Easel down here said nine, and that's the fourth number. And then this, what if one? Oh! <laughs> Guys, I was cooking so ambitiously i did not think that was gonna work i'll take it you know what ain't no one complaining here the log made a sound it seems something has a lot and if i had to explain to you how i came to my conclusion anyway <laughs> i have no idea that's wait something unlocked you think it's the box no 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 it's the door the blocked door has opened Get me out of this room. I've been in this room. You guys don't understand. I restarted the story to get to this room right here. My goodness. This is like a maze. If you're thinking about my house, if you're talking about my house, you're not wrong. No. Unfortunately, I'm talking about this. Perplexing place. Starting from the shelf, from the self-combusting letter to doors that you never know where they lead until you open them and... And you, 
Even now I find all of this too unreal for reality, yet too vivid for a dream. At least when you're dreaming, you don't always think you're dreaming, right? Doctor, I think you're right. What? No, never mind. I'm happy. This isn't the end yet, is it? You're right. Without further ado, let's explore this area. So I can get home sooner. And so you can doctor. Oh, so and so can you doctor. And so you could doctor. I like that better. Okay, we're gonna save because that was. No, we're gonna save because that was hard. Um, I'm gonna save over for that one. All right, I saved. Okay, nice. Oh, let's see here. So this is another puzzle. The clock stopped at so at some moment in the past. The flower bloomed in its prime. Oh, it's the rabbits that all died. A sick white rabbit is curled up on the carpet. Ah, flower is sick. It needs medicine. Apple roll caught the flu recently and must have spread it to flower since they weren't isolated in time. The cold medicine is in the storage room in the storeroom downstairs. Can you help me get it? Is this a task? Is this the task of this scene? She mentioned it herself. My head hurts. It's like, it's like I'm remembering something. All right. Uh, downstairs. I want to check everything first. The fireplace, the empty fireplace, uh, empty fireplace. Cold air is burning. Is what? Is, <laughs> is burning? Oh. Oh. I think that's everything. Okay, Isold. Can I switch to you real quick? Fire sits listlessly. Though it has a little energy, fire still responds kindly to you. Clock stop. Okay. Um, let's see. Fireplace. Uh, let's switch back. Okay. Let's go down. Let's see what's over here. The window is a bit high. Reachable, but not climbable. Can you, like, move the chair to the window? It might be possible to reach the window. Oh, if you move the chair to the window. Okay. Phew! The storage... The storeroom door is blocked. Oh, no, I'm trying to... The window can be open, but Kakania's body is too large for the window. Oh, you know what that means? You know what that means? Oh, Rick! No, no, no. Oh, oh, no. Let's just use mouse and keyboard real quick. Do you need my help? Let's go. Time to go in through the window, he sold. Enter. Ooh. There's a lot of stuff. Ooh, but I can't. Cabin a cabinet is blocking the way. Climb over it. Duh. I'm gonna let some cabinet block my way. A hole in the floor. Climb over it. Duh. <laughs> okay, maybe I should start. No, I'm gonna keep going. It's too dark. Nothing is visible. Isol doesn't like staying here for long. It's supposed to go back soon. Don't worry, Isol. It's too dark. Nothing's visible. Just you think the Kanye got a flashlight or something? I'm thinking we need something else. Okay. The, something else definitely has to happen. Like, part of me doesn't even feel like I need to come all the way back here. Oh, there's a music box and a small xylophone in the box. Uh, play the music box. Isold winds the music box tightly. Uh, the notes end at the end are worn out, making it impossible to produce a clear sound. Okay, let's strike the xylophone. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. I always like the, um, oh, do I, do I have to play a song? Okay, okay. I, I think I got it. I think I got it. Boom, 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 boom. Okay. I need to hear the notes first, though. Boom, boom, boom. Oh, gosh. It's getting higher. Is it supposed to get higher? Okay, yeah, it's getting higher, so it has to... 
Frick! Oh my gosh, this is so hard! <laughs> I'm like, I don't... Let me hear something again. It, the seven sounds right, but it doesn't sound right. You guys know? Yeah, okay, let me try. Seven. Uh, two. Six. Three? Oh, no, that don't even sound right. Nah. Okay. Maybe. <laughs> oh my gosh, this is gonna be so long. Okay. It's definitely not three. I'm so not musically inclined. Sorry to the guy broke the game. <laughs> oh my gosh, I broke the game the last time because I was clicking too much. A few moments later. Okay, guys, after like a million tries, I'm so bad at this. Um, here's another code area. I feel like they need to make it more explicit. That would be nice. Let's see. The correct code will display after five incorrect attempts. Really? I don't know what the code is. Incorrect code. The code corresponds with the five notes played by the music box. Oh! Oh, then it's seven, seven, two for sure. Seven, two, six. Okay, so the numbers did mean something. My dumb butt. Seven, six. I know the last one's one. You think this one's four? Okay. Seven, six, four, you think five? Uh, I think six. <laughs> uh, you think it's seven, the one? Are you freaking serious? <laughs> so it's, oh my gosh, I'm done. I've been playing that thing for like 30 minutes. <laughs> I'm just rushing because I didn't see this this whole time. So I've been playing that crap to get to this. A sturdy and empty metal box only protects a small glass bottle. Attained a small bottle. Okay, let's get out of here. Finally, I'd never make it past this place. Not gonna lie. I didn't know we were supposed to. I knew the numbers on the thing meant something. Freak. That was my bad. Due to unknown mis mystical forces, the game might get stuck ahead. Please save your progress. Oh. Let's save in here. Doctor! I already forgot the voice I gave her. The medicine is here. Great. Let me feed it. Thank you for your help, Doctor. Here. I think it's definitely gonna kill it. Just, <laughs> we're talking about Eastold here. Her her form of help is like killing things. Let's be real, guys. Let's be real. Her form of help is murder. You've gone silent, Doctor. Is something wrong? It's convulsing. Yep. I mean, who are we talking about? Eastold. That's not cold medicine. Oh, that's not cold medicine, is it? <laughs> Who do you think we're talking about? It will be over soon, uh-huh. Before that, take your hand away, doctor. You'll get bitten. Oh. Doctor, your finger. Oh, it's fine. It's fine, Isolde, it's fine. Familiar pain and familiar scenes reoccur. The memory awakened by trauma attacks Kakanya, making her dizzy. Even so, she wants to speak out, to tell her companion. Whether it's my finger, you, or her, everything will be fine soon. Wait, everything will soon be fine. Guys, 
I have dyslexia. Doctor, if that's the case, then why... Why do you look so sad? Oh. Oh. Did I talk to the... People are obsessed with celebrating evidence of new life, se selectively forgetting the death of another. The warm organs have stopped beating. Close the eyelids. Ooh. Uh. You think I can leave now? Oh. I'm just gonna do this. We're running, guys. Oh. Uh. Hmm. Is it too late to turn back? I, uh. I'm stuck here forever. Is this one of the endings or is it like an actual bug? You think I could go, oh! Hi. Are you lost, doctor? You just ran too fast. I couldn't keep up with you. The environment here is different from the outside world. So for safety reasons, please don't act on your own when I'm not around. Sorry. I was a bit emotional just now. After being alone for a while, I feel much better. Thank you for the reminder earlier, Isold. Otherwise, I might have been wandering around in a confused state. Although, the form could be a bit different. I don't know what you're talking about. Now that... Now that you're ready... However, before there's one last, before, oh my gosh. However, before that, there's one last challenge to overcome. That last challenge made me delirious, guys. Let's leave here together first. That last challenge really made me delirious. Let's get out. Oh, oh, this way. Okay, let's go. You wouldn't even let me leave, Isold. I know it was you. Now there's an end to the- ooh. Ooh. A strange looking mushroom. It feels like touching it will reset the position of the boxes inside the seam. Oh. Oh, boxes? Oh, these things? Oh, I can go out. Okay, puzzle time. We got four boxes. Oh, I see what we're supposed to do. Oh, no, 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 Push it this way. Oh, you heard a sound. Hmm. I'm, like, to be honest, the first puzzle, easy. Second puzzle, easy. Freaking, uh, <laughs> the freaking, oh, crap. No, Kakanya, this way. The, um, the last two puzzles were freaking hard. Oh, this is her family. It's Isolde's family. Okay. Sorry, Isolde girly. I know your family did you dirty, but... Oh, wait. There but she only three people in her family. No, four. Four, never mind. They're a family of five. I forgot. My bad. So which one's Tiafod? Teresa? Oh, Teresa. Evangeline, oh, uh, is that Evangeline in the pool? Oh, it's mommy, doctor. Ah, what do you mean can I run? Uh, Frank, where am I running to? I knew I'd be chased. I didn't think it was my Evangeline. Okay, good thing I saved. Okay, I need to listen. 
Put on my big big girl listening ears. Oh, okay. I was not paying attention. I'm sorry, Isold. <laughs> okay. Oh, oh, okay. What? Wait, let me practice. Let me practice. Let me practice. So <laughs> let me practice. So I'm gonna be here. I need to just click the box. Yeah, okay, okay, I got it. So my first thing, right? Side, up, 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 up. Okay, yeah. One more time, one more time, one more time, one more rehearsal. Side, up, 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 up. Okay, got it. But maybe I should go higher, like, side, up, 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 up. Okay, got it, got it, got it. Okay, side, up, 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 got it. Okay, don't freak out and start clicking all over. We trained for this. took a little bit of trading and I got it. And see if she won't come out of the gate. Good, bye. <laughs> I'm sorry. You made me restart one part one too many times and I'm out of here. That was the last puzzle, right? Doctor, I need your help. Please distract her. Huh? I need a chance. Huh? Say something to her. It's best to provoke her a bit. But don't overdo it, or we both might get buried alive here, or dead. I understand, but what exactly are you trying to do? Doctor, I think even I think even though you didn't complete medical school, you understand the principle of cell regeneration in humans, right? For example, to put, in, to put it inaccurately, a person's cells are completely replaced by seven years. Some areas replace faster, like the skin, which completely renews over two to four years. Others are placed slower, like the heart, which only renews about 1% each year. Dang, that's correct. Like the most vital organ is the one that takes forever to heal. Got it. That's correct. But how do you know these things? No, that, what does this even mean? The time here was too boring. I read all the books I could find. Doctor? I'll be right there for you. Eh? Let me see. Okay. File six. Nice. Starlight twinkles underneath the moonlight. Wait, distract her? You mean distract Isold? Isold sleeps soundly. Isold? Huh? Oh, sorry. Isol, disturbed from her sleep, sat up, straightened her collar and skirt pleats. Oh, 1v1 Isol, okay. You're back, doctor. How rude of me, falling asleep in your clinic while waiting for you. I hope I didn't startle you. I didn't startle you. Oh. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna face Isol. Uh, I'm gonna communicate because communication is great. Oh! No, it's all right. Sorry I came back late. Oh, no. Oh, ugh. No, it's all right. Sorry, sorry I came back late. You're always welcome here, as usual. Doctor, you are so kind. I knew you wouldn't blame me. How's your day? Were the consultations with patients smooth? Okay. Kakanya, this is mine, right? What did I do? Um, she did hit me. Uh, memory. Oh no, I don't have any memory. Gaze? What's gaze? Oh, items. Wait, hold up. What's items? Nothing. I don't have any items. Okay. Noted. I'm trying to talk to you, girl. Very good. Quite smooth i had a good day oh i had a good day i had a good oh my gosh i had a good day too i'm glad to hear that you must be tired come sit by my side don't you want to that's fine too oh don't want to that's fine too i'm giving her a british accent so can we kiss today as well uh let's communicate 
Place the cube. It's a little... What? You're silent, Doctor. You never used to be like this. Did I say something wrong? Or is there something improper about my appearance? N no, no. You're not the Doctor, are you? No, actually, you are the real Doctor. This time, you're no longer... You are no longer an illusion, right? Do I not have any memories? Oh! No, e no, Isold. If you were my, <laughs> oh my God. If you were my Kakanya, Doctor, you would have come, come to me earlier, held my hand, hugged me, and said some warm words. How am I getting bodied by Isold? Your silence is a cruelish punishment. Is there a deep meaning behind your actions? Have you found a better place for me in the outside world? If that's the case, why don't you talk to me? Why are you, once again, refusing to speak? Isol starts crying. Even if you haven't found a reason to open for me to- Even if, if you haven't found a reason for me to open my eyes, I can no longer pretend nothing happened. Is this your punishment for a deserter? I was the one who... I never wanted us to settle things this way. Oh, I never wanted us to settle things this way, Doctor. So what brings you here? What? See, you won't answer my question. I can only speculate on your intentions for coming to this unpleasing place. I have nothing to offer with my empty hands. If you came for something, Thing. I'm afraid your trip was in vain. Look outside, Doctor. There are only desperate streets, a hopeless sunset, and a moon over the barren land. This is all I have today. And how about you? How's life in the outside world for you? Does these things matter to you? Will you stay for this? Stay in my dream just now well did you just kill her is that what you meant by regeneration <laughs> yes for a short while the dream will be unstable but after that everything will be reborn including me thank you for your help doctor your work is done you did well. Now, let's leave this place. Uh, crap. Oh. Oh, is this what they meant by the squares? Run to the exit you came and be careful to avoid the obstacles. Later. Finally, we're safe now. Oh, that was 
anxiety inducing. <laughs> the specific patches. Okay, there's no point in reading it. It is collapsing. Blah, blah, blah. Feather. Burning. Oh. Check. The multiple voices, it refers to multiple, multiple melody lines simultaneously creating an effect. This kind of is also called. Who erased, who erased the seas and lands, province from the heart? What took he, what took, what fate took he, you from the brilliant sunshine of your homeland? Oh, even pain, even in pain, remember that there once was joy shining on you there. And only there will peace illuminate the wandering path of love. And only there will peace illuminate the wandering path. Oh, is this a song? Oh. Beautiful. After all that, I'm kind of just like, wow. Uh, too much reading. Too much. Most of the pages in the books here are blurry. Only some broken fragments remain in her memory. You mentioned earlier that you read all the books here. How did, how did you do that? You noticed. You were overthinking. It was just mentioned in Henrik's book, and I happen to remember it. Did I scare you? No. Oh. Is that all the books? Oh. Uh, one, two, three. Did I talk to her? No. A mirror, inspect. Ooh. Hmm. Uh, did we do something with it? Try to talk to it? Um, mirror, mirror. You're right. Balance is not the answer. Most of the time. The broken mirror glimmers. Uh. The mirror remains intact. Something seems to be hidden behind it. Oh, there seems to be a gap. Oh. Ugh. My shoulder's stuck. Let me do it, doctor. Oh, I got a hammer. Oh, I, I see. I see. Now I... Ah, yep. The dilapidated mirror was completely shattered, revealing a pitch black passage behind it. Oh. Please, no more chasings. I've had enough. Oh. Oh. This... Oh. Hi, honey. Oh, save. Okay. Collect. Oh, snap. Oh, snap. Oh, snap. Once again, your ever familiar clinic. The original Isolde has vanished, and on the bloodstained sofa lies a girl even smaller than the Isolde by your side. Her white dress bears no signs of injuries. Her eyelashes are lowered and her eyes are tightly shut. The regeneration has truly has happened. So then, this place, your mental space, will be more stable now, Isolde. This is what I like to call therapy. This is therapy. Isolde, you, your body. What's wrong, doctor? Is something oh a miss why are you this tall just now oh no where are you just what ju <gasps> what are you talking about doctor I've always been like this oh never changed no I think her mind is regressed is regressing again. It seems to be closely linked to her observable form. You don't look well, Doctor. Is it because you're dissatisfied with my performance just now? Yeah, she went from little girl American accent to older girl British accent. As East, as Isolde, whose height is approaching that of Kakanya, speaks, Kakanya notices that the newborn little Isolde beside them has already opened her eyes. Silently observing the scene. And this scene is... I have prepared this stage for a long time. 
I think Henrik's decision was correct to boldly decorate the stage with blood. It is indeed a good idea. I didn't have time to tell him after today's performance, but that's okay. I'll tell him tomorrow. So, what do you think, Doctor? How do you find my performance? That was sick. And this scene is the finale. Oh! I really enjoyed your performance, Isold. Your performance, as always, was impeccable. It was a captivating and brilliant show. I'm glad to be its audience. Doctor, Doctor, I, I don't know how to express my gratitude. Please allow me to take you home. I want to walk that path you are once, with you once more. All right. Oh, uh, let's walk. No need to look back. <laughs> Sorry, other other Isold. Let's go. You don't need to see that Isold. Let's walk the path together. Please tell me more. I, oh, to, oh, I sometimes still dream about my brother and my parent, but less frequent than before. With you by my side, I feel easier than anywhere else. Oh. Okay. I had a dream yesterday, dreaming that we went to the seaside together. Just you and me, Doctor. It's funny, I've never been to the seaside. It's the dr in the dream, I was so happy, but when I woke up, my my pillow and corners of my eyes were wet. Is that a bad sign, Doctor? Perhaps it's a result of your subconscious sadness being overly repressed, causing even more even your emotions in the dream to be masked. If if you feel pressured at home, you can always move into my clinic. You know, I've, al I've always kept a small room for you to use. Doctor, you're so kind. Doctor, we're almost home. Thank you for walking this path with me once again. Actually, I should be the one saying thank you. To stand here again, to see you again, makes me so happy. Even though you said you had nothing. I gained so much today. What can I give you in return, Isold? I haven't given you anything, Doctor. But that's just like you. If it would make you feel better, give me your happiness, Doctor. So I shall be happy too. Oh, let's go. Oh. I'll be back, Isold. No matter what answer I find, one day I will return here to tell you everything I want to tell you. Oh, right. I have empty hands too, so perhaps I'm just bribing you with my privilege. But I want to share this inspiration with you. As I said, as I said, there should be no rep repression or barriers between us. I want to tell you that I can almost hear the sound of the waves. I can almost see that one day we will go to the seaside together and listen to the sound with our ears, not our minds. I can't make any promises, so until then, I beg you to wait for me a little longer. What are you talking about, Doctor? We have a treatment session tomorrow afternoon, don't we? Yes, that's right. Then, see you tomorrow, Isold. You said many strange things today, but I like you this way. See you tomorrow, Doctor. Let's go. Bye, Isold. Bye. See you tomorrow. When we get for your next therapy session. Therapy's really great, huh? Everyone should get therapy. Oh. Alright, Kakani decided to allow herself to look back one last time. Isold. 
see you at therapy tomorrow. Bye. See you at therapy. Oh. Mesmer. So you mean she constructs two versions of herself in the dream? And... So you mean she constructs two versions of herself in the dream and when instability occurs, she kills one of them to maintain the stability of the dream? Yes. And sorry, I can only think of, I called her by her name instead of the racist. I'm sorry. Yes. And the one that dies is reborn in a childlike form. I think her balance is maintained by the cycle of these two Isolde's lives. I've recorded it. Oh, I've recorded it. Continue. Is there anything else noteworthy? In the last two minutes, her resonance amplitude suddenly increased, and her heart rate also rose significantly. What was going on? Forget it. Whatever. Anyway, give the, given the current situation, we've achieved our goal this time. Her physical condition almost exceeds the standard limits midway through the treatment. I nearly had to terminate the process. Fortunately, the data looks much better now. Thanks to Isolde's consciousness guiding us, everything went smoothly. And all, after all, I didn't expect memory, memory loss after entering the dream, the dream walk. I give them the same voice, I just realized. I told you about the precaution... Precautions. Precautions. Thank you, guys. Precautions when reading the notes. And it almost mentioned the in the usage protocol. As a new project still in testing, dreamwalking has the side effect of temporary memory loss, which gradually recovers through the process. And there's currently no way to negate this. Is it also the side effect of memory? Is it also the side effect of memory loss? I don't remember any of these. Your memory has already fully recovered long ago. Did you really pay attention? And at, at the... <laughs> frick me. Did you really pay attention? At what heart rate will the user be automatically ejected? Just pick a number. Anything. Oh. Uh. Oh, they won't. Oh, no. Actually, I don't. Uh, one? <laughs> Mesmer lets out a heavy sigh. <laughs> All right. I might have been distracted. But the outcome is. No, I was definitely distracted. Sorry. Aren't you supposed to be an expert on desires? Next time you're distracted, I suggest you restrain your desire to nod so others can understand whether you agree or falling asleep. Additionally, I recommend you report your attention problems to your therapist again. It seems more serious than stated in the report you gave me. If I were the one approving, I wouldn't have allowed your participation in this treatment. I understand. Akanya averts her gaze in embarrassment. Hmm, this is a letter addressed to Isold von Dittestoff, received by the Foundation. There shouldn't be any living person on Earth able to send her a letter now, but they delivered it after approval. If you're worried, you can open and read it. I don't recommend her reading it, but it's not my con it's not my concern. The sender is outside the door. Isold will wake up in about 30 minutes. I suggest you leave before then. Will I have... Well, I have other patients. Not will. Alright, goodbye, Miss Mesmer. The racist. Please wait. She turned back, looking involuntarily. So, I just wanted to ask. This is not a long-term solution, is it? She seems to regret turning back. No, I mean... I know what you want to say. She's starting to respond to external stimuli, which is a good sign. But this transformation process is extremely dangerous for her, like a snake during its molting period. Any mistake could easily cause her condition to plummet. 
Necessary buffers are to increase the margin for error. Based on her last episode, they might they made a judgment that we need more time. If you feel guilty or think or think you're deceiving her, just imagine this treatment as an extra pre-bedtime cleaning. Or rather, a sedative injection. That's all I'll say. She looks very eager to leave. Normal Mesmer behavior. Let me guess. She's going to go wash her hands. Thank you, Mesmer. Because <laughs> we're not human. Oh. A letter. Yukanya feels it looks familiar. There's no signature on the letter. And it is unclear whether it has been opened or if it's never been sealed properly. Just slightly ajar. Hmm? Wait. There's something underneath the letter. Turquoise, topaz, golden leaves? Delicate, tiny, sincere? Ah! It was taken off before the dream walking. How could I have forgotten that? Nakanya carefully picks up the heavy metal brooch and looks at her collar. There is a noticeable puncture in the fabric, indicating something is missing. Wait, is that the foundation signature? Like, the foundation thing? Aww. With a light sound, it returns to its rightful place. Picking up the letter again, Kakanya clears her throat and cautiously pushes open a slightly ajar door. Keats her heard you for all Keats heard you for all everywhere. Okay. There is not one of the bright names. Okay. The people of the earth have given you the people of the earth have given you that does not yearn to match your music. Night Gale of Shadows, the uh, the, why did the first word that pop in my head say museum? Uh, the Muslim dreamed you drunk with ecstasy. His breast trans pierced by the torn of the snug rose that you ridden. <laughs> I'm trying to read this correctly. I like it. It doesn't make sense to me. They said there might be translation things, but that also might be just me not reading everything correctly and not comprehending it correctly. With your last blood, assiduously, <laughs> I plot these lines in twilight emptiness, night gale of the shores and seas, who in uh, exaltation, memory, and fable, burn with love and die mid melodiously. I read that word. Now that will be rude. No, no, that will be rude. After all, where did this letter come from? Who sent it to her? You're abusing your authority, abusing your relationship with her. No matter, no matter what I do, I won't be ruder than uh, cursing someone to die. It's just a poem, it's art. How did they approve this? Sending such poetry to someone in a mentally unstable period? So, do you still think you have the ability to change the story's ending? You're half wrong, because there was never an ending from the beginning. Wait. It's too late. This... Wait, she's not even wearing the brooch, but I know she's wearing... That pin was for the foundation. That has to be it. I thought she got stuck with a needle. It's not a story, a book, or a poem. Just as the lady before me is not a, is not a fairy tale's nightgale, a siren of the sea, or a glass vessel on stage. Those are merely metaphors, fragments of imagination. Perhaps everything in my mind is also mere imagination, but everything I can feel, hear, and touch about her is all this is real. I believe so, and that is enough. I just wanted you to put that in the sen in the shredder. What? Ha ha ha. Bad habit of arguing with herself is quite contagious. Maybe I should. S Goodbye, Isolde. Oh. Sorry. I couldn't come to see you in a proper manner. There are things I want to tell you face to face. Many things. But sorry. I still can't say them now. 
The woman with black curly hair lies quietly on the bed, her skin seemingly paler than before. The corners of her mouth slightly curls, yet a crystal clear tear hangs from her eye. Hakanya knows it's time to say goodbye again. They said goodbye too many times, from every unofficial meeting to almost eternal farewells in the rain. Sometimes Isolde will call out to her, asking her to walk by the river again. Sometimes she just stood there, watching her leave. Until the hopping, the hopping green feather, also, the hoping? Green hopping, right? The hopping green feather also disappeared on the golden horizon until they met again. Many yesterdays flash in her mind, still beginning a sharp, still bringing a sharp pain of emptiness, yet soothed by one another, one by one. Oh, what the heck? Closing and opening her eyes, Kakanya pupil. Kakanya's pupils refocus uh, from the void to the person in front of her. The Pearl of Vienna, the best opera singer, Miss Didishtoff, my dear old friend, patient, the last other Viennese. How should I untangle the long connections between us? Is it sympathy for a, sympathy for a woman tortured by illness, admiration for art, or a nostalgic settlement for golden memories? This tangled question, Kokanya can't unwind even now and perhaps won't understand for a long time to come. But her uninvited guest in the dream is lying in front of her at this moment, breathing evenly, the streets white and soft, and the reassuring heaviness on her chest. Oh. Good morning, Isolde. Oh, Too many see you again, sometimes almost never again, but now they are here. A premonition stirs Kakanya's heartbeat, telling her this wouldn't be the last time either. She sees farther, uh, she sees farther. She no longer looks back, she can't look back. Yes, I think it will take place tomorrow. The near yet exclusive tomorrow. To make it reality, the awake will continue toward the sound of the waves with promise and scars. Until the sun rises once again. Carry it with you. Original work, reverse 1999. Isold as Isold. Kukanya as Kukanya. Mommy as. <laughs> Oh, did oh they were both Teresa. Okay, Rabbit as Flower, Mesmer Jr. as Mesmer Jr. Thank you, made by CU. By the way, here's the music. Plugins. I didn't really run into any bugs, which is nice. Everything that I thought was a bug was my fault, which is normal. So, fan made, distributed free, purely purely for entertainment purposes. Okay, so it did say it had some spoiler spoilers, spoiler, but I didn't recognize any of them. Don't tell me. Like, 1.9 spoilers, but again, I didn't recognize any of them. Like, I didn't think they would be known unless you played 1.9, you know what I mean? So I wasn't really scared when they said 1.9 spoilers. Well, like, to be honest, I don't freaking, <laughs> I don't I didn't care. Also, I didn't know. Please save the file to unlock the ending CG in the CG collection. Be sure not to overwrite the other ending save files as well. This will cause the CG to fail. Okay, I'll save it in the last one. I'll save it in file 20. Okay, now that was carrying it with you. Carry it with you, not carrying. Okay, thank you guys for watching. Uh, I never thought I'd do this, so thank you to CU who made this amazing RPG Maker fan game for Kakanya and Isold. Uh, make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe. Make sure you check out the original artist, which will be in the description, and the game if you want to get the other two endings, because this game has three endings. Make sure you join the Discord, follow me on Twitter and TikTok, and yeah, that's gonna be it. I'll see you guys in the next Reverse 1999 video. Check out.